Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. 49ers QB Purdy rides John Deere tractor in SF filming commercial. Brock Purdy, once again, is spending time behind the wheel of a tractor while away from the 49ers facility. Purdy on Thursday was spotted on the streets of San Francisco shooting a John Deere commercial with 49ers teammate Colton McKivitz. The agriculture equipment manufacturer made the wise move to capitalize on Purdy's viral video from the 49ers 2023 by week in which he and fiancé Jenna Brandt operated a tractor on her family's farm. The 2023 season was not the first time Purdy and Brandt spent time in Iowa during their harvest season. The couple made the same journey in November of his rookie season as well. Purdy's 2023 salary was ranked 40th on the 49ers at just under $900,000. As much as he is essential to the success of the offense, the NFL's collective bargaining agreement prohibits any contract changes or extensions through a player's first three seasons. The Pro Bowl selection salary goes up incrementally in each of the four years of his contract, but Purdy will remain one of the lowest-paid players on the roster in 2024. Supplementing his income makes sense, and the Iowa State product already has inked partnerships with Toyota and FedEx along with John Deere. With all that Purdy has accomplished in his first two NFL seasons, including leading the 49ers to two NFC Championship games as well as a Super Bowl appearance, more brands likely will come calling. 49ers CB Charvarius Ward undergoes successful surgery on an undisclosed injury. San Francisco 49ers cornerback Charvarius Ward put on his Instagram story that surgery was a breeze on Thursday morning, Mooney did not disclose what he needed surgery for. As you can see in the background, he's at Vincera Institute. That's an orthopedic clinic in Philadelphia that features the top core injury specialists in the country. Ward could have finished the season playing through some type of core injury or sports hernia. He may have had a groin injury. Who knows, but the fact that there haven't been any reports from the team is a good sign that Ward will recover in time for the 49ers offseason program and shouldn't have any long-term effects. Ward had a tremendous season, and that carried into the Super Bowl. I'd argue that the Niners are looking for a new defensive coordinator because of the failure to let your all-pro cornerback shadow either of the Kansas City Chiefs' top threats. Travis Kelsey and Rassie Rice combined for 19 targets, yet Ward wasn't targeted once in the entire game. In the most critical moments of the season, number 7 wasn't involved. I wonder if that changes in 2024 under the new defensive coordinator. Why the 49ers should sign Trent Brown The 49ers have needed a right tackle ever since they traded Trent Brown to the Patriots in 2018. It's time to bring him back. Brown is a 30-year-old free agent and he's still good, although he misses a few games every season. For that reason, the 49ers should be able to sign him to a one-year deal as a temporary stopgap while a younger offensive tackle develops on the bench. The 49ers never should have traded Brown in the first place. Kyle Shanahan inherited him, but didn't feel he fit the 49ers' zone-blocking scheme, so he traded Brown and a fourth-round pick to New England in exchange for a third-round pick which the 49ers used on safety Tarvarius Moore, who was a bust. To replace Brown, the 49ers used a top-10 pick on Mick McGlinchey, who also was a bust. A mentally and physically weak player to whom the 49ers did not offer a contract extension. Brown always has been better than McGlinchey, just as Brown always has been better than Colton McKivitz, the 49ers' current right tackle. McKivitz is mentally and physically tough, unlike McGlinchey, but McKivitz simply isn't athletic enough to be a quality offensive tackle. Brown is extremely athletic for a big man. His issues have been staying healthy and staying in shape. But if the 49ers can get him on a one-year deal, they don't have to rely on him, because they'll still have McKivitz, plus they can use their first-round pick on an offensive tackle as well. Fix this offensive line already. It's been long enough. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation about Trent Brown? Leave your opinion in the comments.